This last week, I had the opportunity to meet Michelle Gaskell Haynes, who's the new regional president for Southern California Kaiser Permanente. And she said something that was very interesting as she stood in a room and addressed a team of leaders. She said, as leaders, our primary responsibility is to remove the pebbles from our team's shoe. Now, I'm sure you're very familiar with the idea of a pebble in your shoe. If you've ever gone on a long walk before, or maybe you have tried your hand at a half marathon or a full marathon, you know how detrimental a pebble in your shoe can be. It starts off very innocent, and maybe you are of the mind when you first start the race that, oh, this is no big deal, I'll be able to push through it. But as you begin to rack up miles, you will quickly learn that this pebble actually poses a significant risk to your performance, to your progress, and to your ability to complete this race. It starts off small, but over time, the pain goes from just a uncomfortable annoyance to a frustration to an acute pain that you have to address. And what she said is, as leaders, we must be intimately aware of the pebbles in our team's shoe. Now, what's interesting is that I know there are a lot of leaders out there who actually look at this a little bit differently. They see themselves as an individual who their team must be aware of the pebbles in their shoe. And so there are some leaders who say, I need my team to know what my frustrations are and my annoyances are and what my pebbles are and to remove them from my shoe. But the way she framed it, I really appreciate. She said, no, as a leader, your responsibility is to leverage your expertise, your skills, your resources to remove the pebbles from your team's shoe. Those pebbles could be a toxic work environment. There may be dissension on your team. Those pebbles could be lack of resources or lack of clarity, unclear work pro workflows or processes. Those pebbles could be anything that are posing a risk to your team's performance, progress, and productivity. And so as a leader, I want to pass this message on to you and encourage you to take time to listen to your team, understand their frustrations, their pain points, their anxieties, and do everything in your power to remove the pebbles from their shoes.